It's 644 on this Wednesday morning and Coin 6 is your local election headquarters and we're following what you need to know this morning. For the first time in about a decade, Gresham is electing a new mayor, a mayor to replace the uh, mayor, former mayor Shane Bemis, who uh, resigned before this election. And right now, candidate Travis Stovall is in the lead over four other candidates. He joins us live over Zoom. Good morning, Travis. Good morning. Good morning. Well, it hasn't been called officially yet, but how are you feeling about the results this morning? We're feeling fairly positive, uh, cautiously optimistic. I'm sure are the two words that everybody's saying uh, kind of nationally. And so at this point, uh, we believe in what we've heard is all the votes are counted for Gresham at this point, but we'll need to confirm that throughout the day. And if all the votes are counted, uh, then uh, we the, the lead that we currently have should stand uh, barring any uh, additional things that come in. So we're feeling fairly, fairly confident about uh, the race at this point. Yeah, it's been, it's been an interesting uh, time in Gresham. There's been a, a lot of racial divides, some unrest, uh, was big changes within the leadership there and the police. So, you know, tell us about what your goals are as mayor and, and how you, you plan to, you know, kind of bring those people together. So, you know, I start from a good standpoint. I've worked with uh, the city of Gresham in the volunteer type situations in both committees and task force for the last 14, 15 years. And I've worked with many of the folks that have been involved in the situations that we've seen pop up in the last, you know, four to six months. And so I start from an opportunity of bringing these folks together and having real conversations, you know, and they, they respect the fact that I bring kind of the experience. I've been on the TriMet board for over eight years. Uh, the fiscal response, I mean, the fiscal responsibility there, the leadership, you know, that I've uh, been able to develop over time, but also this conversation that I get to uniquely lean into when it comes to social justice. And, and, and so I've got a unique experience growing up in the inner city of Kansas City, Kansas, and now have lived in Oregon for 20 years. It's just a unique experience that I get to bring to this conversation. Yeah, I'd like to uh, tack on to that. Uh, as a business owner and uh, being on the TriMet board, do you think that this uniquely prepared you for the role that you're seeking right now? Absolutely. Absolutely, Ken. You know, if I, we've, you know, there's so many things that we get to see, you know, as, you know, as business owners, as, you know, folks that have been in the public space in various leadership roles uh, that prepares us for this, you know, that uh, some of the, some of the angst, some of the frustration, uh, some of the joys that we get when we get to, um, uh, you know, have successes. You know, on the TriMet board, we delivered the largest contract to a minority contractor in Oregon history of uh, roughly $80 million. Um, so it's those types of things that have uh, tremendous transformational opportunities uh, that we can continue to see, you know, brought to, you know, leadership uh, positions uh, like the mayor of Gresham. Yeah. Well, thank you very much, uh, Travis Stovall, uh, seeking the mayorship of Gresham. At this point, it looks good. Uh, if it is declared official sometime today, of course, we'll report that. And uh, you've got a challenge ahead of you, if that's the way it turns out. Thanks for joining us. That we do. Yeah. That we do. Thank you. All right, 647 right now. And election day is...